My mother and I are cleaning out the fish tank. I wish I had uh, thought to take some footage before we took them out, but uh, we just got them all out and now we're getting ready to clean. So I'll give you an after shot. The <laughs> job is to take all the dirty gravel and wash it and make it nice clean gravel. Watch this. The goop has been clogging up the tank. It's been a while. And I usually need to do three rounds of water for this. So looking good so far. This gravel is from the South Fork of the Muscle Shell River. We used that plate to prevent the gravel from getting kicked up when you pour water in. We took a walk in Silver Springs. I didn't even say a thing. And then it all just disappeared. Steady as a rock. <laughs> She was going to come back anyway. Yeah, get some of that green stuff scooped out. That's the blue-green algae, isn't it? Yeah, don't apologize to me. <laughs> it's your fish tank. You know, maybe, maybe apologize to the fishes. <laughs> After the under gravel filter's been running for a couple of hours. This will all get sucked down into the gravel. Mm-hmm. Nope. Up to seed. Seed future growth. Yeah. Yep. That, that blue-green algae was coming back anyway. No matter what we do. Just a few jars in there, just so the bucket isn't too heavy to lift up. I'm holding the strainer and the camera in the other hand. Makes me glad that I am ambidextrous, kind of. <laughs> ah! uh, uh. That's mostly gravel in there, isn't it? Because that was one of the first buckets we did. No, well, there's a good glob of green in here. Okay, well I'm ready to catch it. I'm trying to just pour off the water and not get that last bit of green. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Yay, we're getting close. We are. To it's looking able good. To start this pump. Lovely. This is the nice clean water going in now. Looking good so far. Yeah. Very nice. That looks like a running pump to me. Pretty clear. All right, fishies, time to go home. Okay, I've got three in this jar. <laughs> that one just didn't want to leave. They swim against the 
current, whatever it is. Yeah. Three more in here. So that makes six. <laughs> They're looking happy. So you were telling me uh, about the uh, origin of the name White Cloudfish? Yeah, um, there's a white cloud mountain in China, and these are minnows, descendants of minnows from the streams on the white cloud mountain, so they're white cloud mountain minnows. Here's three more, <laughs> so that makes nine. And the jar really magnified them nicely, I got a really good shot of that. Great. happier already. It's like, oh my goodness, this place has changed. Like with many fish, if they're scared, they get pale. And if they're happy, they get dark. Ah. So. Yeah, so they're very pale right now. Uh, yeah, not super duper. But not as pale as that poor little one I found in the gravel. Yeah. There's a snail in that one. Yeah, go on out, guys. I don't want to... There you go. Yeah. Try to not get that clump. Yeah, we don't, we don't need any extra algae in there. But I can grab the snails and invite them. Plink. Yeah, because... Snails uh, eat up the goop like, and fish waste, right? Well, uh, when we got our gravel, we got snail eggs with it. So <laughs> these are snails from the mussel shell. And uh, they, you can't keep them out. They'll always be snails. <laughs> so might as well keep a couple around. Yeah. And here's our two ones that are not completely healthy. We've got one hunchback and one... Come on, dude. It's like he's wearing a coat. One that's black. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. That one's been like that for a year now. Maybe we should name it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is all the fish.